all right hey y'all what's up welcome back to another youtube video my name is coach kelly marie i keep calling myself a coach i decided the other day that i was gonna stop calling myself a coach and i was gonna start calling myself a teacher because i'm definitely more of a teacher i'm definitely the person who's gonna help you acquire a new skill set so we're gonna go with teacher but my name is kelly marie and i am here to share with you today um, some tips on what to do if you are struggling to get higher engagement on your post. Now, there are so obviously some prerequisites to this there are some prerequisites to this but if you're struggling to get engagement on your post and people are actually like liking your post or saving your post and you can see that but they're not necessarily like commenting or sharing then this is gonna be for you okay this is going to be for you. Um, so my prerequisites for this to work for you is you need to have at least a thousand followers, 1000 followers on one platform. So whether that is an Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, whatever your platform is, you need to have at least a thousand followers. Okay. And you need to be posting consistently. When I say consistently, I don't mean a million times a day. I mean like one time a day for the last three weeks or four weeks is kind of where you want to be at. At least a thousand followers is kind of where you want to be at to start utilizing the strategy that I am about to give you, okay? If you have not been posting um, at least once a day for the last three to four weeks, then that's where you should start. If you do not have a thousand followers, then you should start with growing to a thousand followers. Okay, do not be over consumed with if you have less than a thousand followers, honestly, do not be over consumed with what it is that you're posting or why it is that you're posting it. It really does not matter, like, it does not matter. I had this conversation earlier with my makeup artist, she is a YouTube personality. And she has a lot of followers on YouTube. She's been very successful with YouTube. And she's like, when people come to me and they say, I haven't started my channel yet, what should I post? Just get started. Like, just get started because you're gonna find your niche. You're gonna find your like wave or whatever. Like, it is all gonna make sense to you one day eventually. But if you've got less than a thousand followers, you need to start with like growing to a thousand followers because you have to get into the rhythm of like being consistent in the first place. If you're trying to start being consistent and you're trying to like figure out what to post and learn all the systems and find a niche, like if you're trying to do all that at the same time, it is very overwhelming. And so it's not that we're, that we're saying like focus on growing your following because you have low followers and that's all that matters we're saying just focus on growing your following because it's the easiest thing to do like growing is the easiest thing to do all those other decisions are like super hard to make so focus on that first okay so here are a couple of things you can do if you're struggling to get people to engage the first thing that you can do is you can ask questions at the end of your captions so you should be writing captions obviously but at the end of your captions if you pose a question to your audience they are more likely to engage why because they have a reason to engage so think about any type of question that you can put at the end of your caption if you take a picture of yourself going to the gym and you say, hey y'all, I'm going to the gym today, da, da 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 this is a little bit about my health journey. At the end, you wanna put a question that says, what's been the biggest struggle you've had on your health journey? And not a yes or no question, you want it to be like an actual question. So, what's been your biggest you know, struggle on your health journey? Or, you know, what's your health goal for the next 90 days? Or, where's your favorite place to get a smoothie after you hit the gym? Like, you wanna put a question at the end that's going to give people a reason to actually engage with you and it's going to give people a reason to like actually comment on your post because a lot of people are like don't expect me to engage with your content and you have not given me a reason to do so like what am i supposed to say oh cute hair like oh nice makeup love your makeup like a lot of people say that on my post because i don't sometimes i don't put questions at the end so they don't really have anything to say but they do like the content so they'll find something to say most people will not find something to say. They'll just skip on to the next person, okay? So that's the first thing you can try is putting a question at the end of your captions. The second thing you can try is offering engagement incentives. When someone says on their post, DM me the keyword to get access to such and such free class or comment below to get access to my free webinar, sign up for my free webinar, that is an engagement incentive. You can also do it if you say, if this post gets to 10 likes, I'll drop, or if this post gets to 10 comments, I'll 
I'll drop such and such discount code. Or if this post gets to 20 comments, we'll drop the collection a day early um, or whatever it may be, right? So you can actually give engagement incentives, which starts teaching people to interact with your page. Now you don't always want to do like a discount, but you can do like a limited time freebie or you can do like, um, like videos. Like I, this is my fifth video YouTube video that I've recorded today. If I wanted to take